What can you share to young footballers, young African footballers that are dreaming to do like you? What I learn is mm. you have to be stubborn with your dream, what you want to do. If you said, I'm going to do this, you stop and things might not work out. There's a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges along the way, even for us from now till now. But you have to be stubborn on what you want to do. You said, I want to do this and you stick with it. Me, I don't have a plan B. I only have plan A. This is what I want to do and this is what I'm going for. Hi. Okay. Hello. How are you? How are you? Great, great, great. Mm. How's everything? Yeah, we're there coping, you know, managing. How is uh, you enjoying Rome, the great weather of Rome? Man. Yeah, the weather is beautiful, isn't it? Like, the sun is shining. Yeah, like compared to other places, like it's so cool. Yeah. Because I'm just recently from Bucharest and yeah. see the blue weather is like, this is like a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, I run into a Gambian footballer, so he's playing here before, but now a little bit moved out of Rome. Mm -hmm. So I just run into him, just doing his own thing, relaxing. So I said, ah, come to share with us how is life here in, in Rome. And also share with us a little bit about your experience here and inspire some young people, young footballers out there. Introduce yourself to us and tell us, uh, who are you? Mm, I am Bakari, Bakari JJ. Um, okay. Yeah, Gambian International. Um, I was here since I was like 13, 14. Yes. From 14 years I was in Lazio. Okay. I spent two years there, then I moved to ES Roma. Okay. Yeah, from 2016 um, to 2019. I'm playing football um, professionally. What can you say about life here? I mean, it's okay. Like, um, actually, for me, I was here since I was little. I've been here almost nine years in Rome. Okay. Then I moved out to yeah. Paris. Now, Paris Saint Germain? No, not Paris Saint Germain. Okay. I was in a team in um, Paris, France, okay. and okay. Then, uh, then I moved to Romania. And how is the cost of living anyway? the cost of living for when you were in Rome before and now what do you well, think? Well, I've been like, I travel a lot so I know the difference of the um, difference in cost of living in from different countries. Yes. Uh, Rome to like France or Paris is much better, okay. the cost of living, but other countries like in these eastern countries are way more cheaper. Yes. So, um, the cost of living is way more cheaper there, but oh. it's okay here. Because okay. let's say it's an example for, where do we take an example? Like mm. uh, there is a kebab shop, like we take an example. Mm. You go to you go to Paris, okay, let's start with here. Yeah. Like in Rome, a kebab, you, let's say um, 3 euro 50 cents. Yes. You go to Paris, it's like 60, 6 euro, 6 euro 50 Even cents. Seven, seven but euro, you go to Switzerland, yeah. it's like 11 euros, 17 euros, 20, 17 euros. So, there's a range, um, there's a difference in range of um, the cost of land. But in Bul you go to places like Bulgaria, mm. Romania, it's way more cheaper. It's though. way more cheaper, yeah. yeah. So you have said that this on, he has given us a very good example. So life mm. here is cheap mm. and uh, life is cool. If you find something you really want and mm. if you fell in the love with the city. Thing is, it depends on what project you are up to. What they are, for me, like it doesn't depend on the country or the place. Mm. It depends on where you are and what you want to do. Yeah, and what is working for you. What is working for you, you just yeah. go for that. It depends on the project you do. What can you share to young footballers, young African footballers that are dreaming to do like you? What I learned is mm. you have to be stubborn with your dream, what you want to do. Exactly. You have to stop. If you said, I'm going to do this, you stop. And things might not work out. There's a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges along the way, even for us from now till now. But you have to be stubborn on what you want to do. You said, I want to do this, and you stick with it. This is what I want to do, and like me, I don't have a plan B. I only have plan A. This hey. is what I want to do, and this is what I'm going for. Hey, Bumblebee. No, man, did you, did, can you really repeat it again, please? Like, what do you want to do, whatever you want to do, just go all, all for it. It's either all in or you, 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 you don't go for it. Okay. Yeah, I go all, all, all for it, like all for it. So young no. footballers, young Africans, is, you have said it all. It's simple word, no plan but it's powerful. It's only one plan you have. If you know what you want to do, yeah, go for it. Go 100%. for it with full force. 
there might be obstacle there along might the way, be yeah. Yeah. people can laugh way, yeah, people will laugh at you people will mock at you mm -hmm. people will even sometimes even your parents your family people yeah, might I mean, kick like, against it but if you know that this is true to you this is what you want all, to do it's more it's more like a mental going. game this is more like a mental game like it's here you have to be strong mentally because mm -hmm. like this even you we are pep i had an interview pep he was like our careers is everybody sportman is our our career is like a wave Yes. You go down and go like that. Times when you are down, you receive like a lot of criticism, like critics, and not people looking down on you and stuff like that. It's, mm. uh, it's all up to you. Like you fall, like you have, everybody falls down. But yes. It depends on how you, you quickly get up from the, 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 yeah. from the ground. Mm. That, that is what makes the difference. Everybody falls down. Yeah. That depends on those uh, that still bounce, right, back, yeah, bounce back, get up and still continue, continue the fighting. Yeah. Those That's are the ones we call the champions. Yeah. Those are the ones we call the stars. Exactly. Because they fall down and they come, come yeah, up. Man, they don't give up. They don't stay on the ground. They just quickly bounce Do you bounce hear up. what you just said? That if you know, I repeat again, that if you know what you want to do, just go for it. Forget about the obstacle, forget about yeah, the, the, the naysayers, forget mm -hmm. about the haters, exactly. forget about people who kick against you. Exactly. Remember, there will be obstacle. It is, it, it, there There's will be waves. The world, there right. will be waves in the mm -hmm. sea, mm -hmm. but keep on your focus. Right. It's not even necessarily football. It's, yeah. You, whatever you want to do in life, if you want to do, be an artist, whatever, you just go all, all, all for all it. All inside it. All for it. So you see that? So yeah. this is his own honest advice for yeah. young people, young entrepreneurs. Don't listen to, the naysayers. Don't listen to like, anybody. Even go. like football, of course, especially this is so important for we young footballers, like especially coming from Africa, Africa, going to Europe. You find, you, you, there's a lot of challenges. Challenges. Like, like football trials, you go for football trial mm. and then they don't select you, you are down and yes. then you are like, oh, no, now I'm going to change. And, no, no. That is an opinion. No. Every coach, every, every like a director that mm. might give you a contract, that is a football coach. Mm. Sometimes they even have a different opinion. Yes. What is, it has all to do with opinion. It is just yes. opinion. Yes. The coach might not think you are good. Mm. And another one think like you are, and there's a lot of footballers that I've seen here. Examples, a lot of examples, they are not selected in one team and they go to the other team. They're selected and they make big, big names. And today now, so that, is so that, that very like coach is like, is, is like a shame. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, so it, those things are important. Like this, you have, your, your power is, you are you, nobody is you. So everything you do is you. Man, you're killing that is it. Your power. You're killing it. Just keep on going, man. Yeah, Just keep on going. Yeah. Yes, the power is in you. You so the are the way. only power, yeah. and no Every one can story. be like you, and exactly. no one can play like exactly. you. If you are a footballer, no one can play like you. If it you are about, whatever yeah. artist, whatever it person you, you are, to prove them it is, wrong. Yeah. just Very do wrong. your thing. Exactly. Just do your thing, and forget about all these people that is writing you off, because exactly. it is just a numbers game. Exactly. Like Ronaldo of Brazil, that most people consider as being one of the greatest footballer mm -hmm. ever lived. Mm -hmm. His first tryers. The team told him to go and go, forget about football and go to look for work. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Exactly. Or go to school. There's a lot of cases like that. So you have the Riyad Mehrez and the other players like Bernard Silva. He was up until he was 19. He was not even starting for the team he was. Okay. The under He wasn't even starting. He was always on the bench. He doesn't okay. even play. Okay. And now look at him, Manchester City dominating every, every team, every midfield. Okay, so. Thank you very much for sharing. I think this will help a lot of brother. young people yeah. or even anyone that is facing challenges in mm. your career or whatever mm. thing you want to do. Because most people already know what they want to do, but they are scared to go out of their comfort zone. Yeah, they that, are is, that is our problem, like to step out of that comfort zone. So that is our problem. The, the quickly you will yeah. realize where you are going, the yeah. quickly you break down your comfort zone. Exactly. So actually, where are you playing now? Uh, which will actually now I have to finish up something with a club that I'm with in Bucharest. Okay. Yeah. Um, a big club though, so you know I don't want to go into details. Um, but yeah. Okay. We just want to know the name. What is the name of the club anyway? Um, Stewa. Okay, Stewa Bucharest. Yeah, so it's a player of Stewa. Not Stewa. yet. Not yet confirmed. That's why I don't want to bulge okay, okay. into, into you know. Okay. Not yet but confirmed. Yeah. Okay.
It is a pity that you are not in the Gambian team that is making great exploit right now in the African Cup of Nations. Mm -hmm. So what can you say and what can well, you... Well, uh, to be honest, I was really hoping um, for, uh, for that to be part of the team. Mm. This team, um, the, this African Cup of Nations, so to speak. But some things didn't go well as planned because I went to Sweden when I was supposed to sign, but the market was closed. Okay. Because they have a different market, so actually I have to wait till April. Mm. So that's why I had to move back to Romania. Okay. Because I talked with the team, had the agreement, and they send documents. With, like I'm talking about the Swedish team. Yes. But then the market, the, 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 the market is closed. So okay. in their market, that was the, the summer market. When yes. the market is closed, you cannot sign. Even if you are free, you cannot sign. So basically. That is, I spoke with the national team coach mm. and stuff. Um, I was really hoping to be part of the team this African. But you know, these are some of the challenges I was talking about. The hurdles yeah. that come yeah. you, you have to rise above it. Yeah. And move on. And you know. Yeah, and some of the challenges can also come as injury. And uh, so, but you have to, before you give up, you have to fight hard. You have to fight those are hard. The, the, I mean, if you are doing this job, those mm. things come along with it. Mm -hmm. These injuries and stuff, it comes along with it. Injuries are part of the game. Like, mm -hmm. As long as you play, you said you are a footballer, like, mm. you, you have to go through it. But sometimes there could be, like, it depends on how worse it is. Yes. But no matter what, you just have to accept it and just move on and know that it's part of the game. So, no matter what you go through, mm -hmm. you just have to believe it and keep on going because it's part of the game. Yeah, exactly. Though, because I can use myself as an example, I got some strange, strange ones. Mm. So that is why I couldn't continue. So, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, as you have already said, mm -hmm. before you give up, you have to fight with all of your last fights. Mm -hmm. You have to try every means to get back on your feet with exactly. your, whatever injury you get exactly. until you know that this is too much or it's impossible to revive for now mm -hmm. or you need miracles. So whatever we can do to get it, try until before you give up. Exactly. I bet if you are just facing only just some temporary failures or disappointment, you went to trials and you get rejected, if that Those is your, part of it. if that is your your challenges, mm. never ever give up. Or, Those are all part of the challenges. Uh huh. So, yeah. but if you go to a trial and some coaches say they don't like you, yeah, you have already. It's just said. an opinion. That don't, does not mean what they are. If they said you are not good enough, it's just an opinion. It doesn't mean you are not good enough. You know what you're good at. You what? You just stick to your dream and just keep ahead. Just. It is just on. an opinion. So it's don't make opinion. someone's opinion. Be your change reality. Your dream or change on what you want to do. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye bye.